When a plumber was working on a school restroom, he found a stash of stolen treasure from the 1940s. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. The girls' restroom at school isn't usually the best place for a fully grown man to find himself. Indeed, it's likely to raise eyebrows and even invite police attention. But at least this man was a plumber who'd been asked to do a routine job. And furthermore, these toilets were now defunct, being the remnants of an old school building in Illinois. In fact, the plumber was helping with demolition work. As the professional works on removing a toilet, he cracks open an air vent behind it, attached to the wall, and suddenly a pile of artifacts comes tumbling out. Although the plumber remains anonymous, media and news sources jump on the story. And who would have thought it all began with a toilet and a grate full of unexpected treasure? Although the stunning finds probably aren't worth much in cash, they do hold significant sentimental value for some. Furthermore, they arguably act as a time capsule for a much treasured era. In fact, a woman has been missing one of the items for around 70 years, so you can imagine her delight when she finally laid eyes on it again. To add to that, even the objects that remain unclaimed offer a tantalizing glimpse into contemporary history. But it wasn't gold, jewels, or money the plumber found behind the old school's bathroom toilet. No, it was a bunch of old wallets, all belonging to schoolgirls in the 1940s. And now the search is on to find their rightful owners. Now, you see, the bathroom in question actually used to belong to an institute called Centralia High School in Illinois. A long time ago, back in the 1940s, teenagers walked its halls going about their daily routines. But the school is now empty and has fallen into disrepair, although some people still have a use for it. Take Seth Baltzell, for instance, the pastor for City Hope Church CHC, with designs on Centralia High School. Indeed, his social media page reveals the pastor's life goal is determined to change the world. That's all. It appeared the derelict school was part of that plan, so he made inquiries about its ownership. And the price must have been agreeable because at the beginning of 2019, CHC purchased the old school building. In the congregation's hands, Centralia High School was going to give back to the area in a different way. To be specific, Baltzell planned to make it CHC Community Outreach Center and Church. But in order to do that, Baltzell needed to hire workers to fix the place up and help make renovations. So he called in the plumber to look into making changes to the old school's bathrooms. However, as Baltzell explained to KSDK News in July, the work came with a big surprise. He had demoed out part of the old girl's bathroom here on the second floor in this old building, Baltzell said of the plumber. But little did he know that he'd find something that sounds like it came out of a mystery novel. Yes, the walls were hiding a surprising secret. For you see, the plumber removed a vent behind one of the toilets and uncovered a secret stash. In theory, these small items must have been pressing on the vent from the other side of the grate. Therefore, when the craftsman removed it, the contents came spilling out. But their discovery only raised more questions. When he cut into the vent, just a whole bunch of old wallets fell out, Baltzell recounted. And while it must have come as a shock to the plumber, the discovery got Baltzell all fired up. The pastor even told CNN that he'd been hoping to experience an exciting event during the renovation. As Baltzell went on to explain, we've been working on this building for six months. I've been kind of waiting for that really cool thing that nobody's seen in the last 75 or 100 years to pop out. And that's literally what the wallets did, as if to fulfill the pastor's yearning for a mystery. Humorously, the pastor also reflected to KSDK News, I think I've watched one too many episodes of CSI and stuff, so I like the mystery and the intrigue of it all. The plumber had inadvertently granted Baltzell's wish when he discovered the old Centralia High School stash. So, how many wallets actually nestled behind the toilet's vent? Intriguingly, it wasn't a small number. Yes, the plumber found a total of 15 wallets behind the duct where they'd apparently remained for over half a century. What's more, Baltzell continued the story on his Facebook account in June 2019. While someone took the cash, they left behind all the pictures, information, and other documents, he said. And to add to that, the paperwork was quite revealing. For example, the student IDs in each of the wallets provided names and ages for all their owners. Apparently, every one of them belonged to female pupils who attended Centralia High School from the mid-1940s. Baltzell added, We tried to categorize them by different names. The wallets contained personal items, too. As the pastor went on to explain, the war was ending. You know, so there's lots of things, pictures from soldiers. As for the wallets, most of them were made of leather and had become faded or tattered with age. Owing to the lack of valuables inside, Baltzell assumes that a school thief had created the stash. All the pictures seem to be from 1945 and 1946, the pastor told the Miami Herald 
in July 2019. Best we can tell is that someone was stealing the wallets and then ditching them behind the toilets in a heat vent. And there, the collection apparently lay until the 2019 CHC renovations. Now, unfortunately, due to the passage of time, we're unlikely to ever find the alleged thief. And furthermore, Baltzell knew it could also be tough to find any of the former owners of the wallets. After all, the items were roughly 75 years old, and a lot can happen in that time. The owners could have moved states, emigrated to another country, or even passed away. As the pastor went on to explain to CNN, though, he started to formulate a plan. Most likely, the person that's owned the wallet is either at the end of their lifespan or no longer living. My best chance was to reconnect with one of their relatives, he said. With that in mind, Baltzell turned to social media with hopes of tracing the potential owners. What's more, he also released a list of student ID names in the post and a picture of the wallets. But even with such clear identification, obstacles still hindered the search, as Baltzell mentioned in the post.